Good morning everyone. It's the 27th of January 2023 Tuesday morning. I hope that you're having a good day today so far. The sun hasn't come up yet here in Pineville. It's the 17th. I think I said something different. The 17th of January. Um, if you hear snoring, it's my son in the background. You know, I've been vlogging with a person for some time, and I've come to the conclusion that we're never going to agree on the interpretation of the Bible perfectly this side of eternity because we're all tainted by sin and we don't have all spiritual knowledge even though we've been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places we don't have a perfect understanding of the Bible or of God if we did we'd already be in heaven wouldn't we <laughs> So we're never going to agree on every finite point. Now, if someone is teaching false doctrine, obviously you need to expose it. But um, I don't think I could ever uh, defellowship someone over their eschatology. Because no man knows the day or the hour of his coming according to Christ himself. And like I've said, there's a lot that uh, I don't understand about Bible prophecy. And it's amazing how cocky some people can be about Bible prophecy and their eschatology and all of their charts and their graphs and their you know I remember when Harold Camping uh, he was pretty solid in some of his doctrine but he started setting dates as to when Christ was going to come back and I think he set two or three dates and they came and went and that kind of left egg all over his face in his organization proved that he was you know not telling the truth If he'd been telling the truth, it would have come to fruition, would it not? And then it also amazes me how that there are organizations that leave out large bodies of scripture because it's not palatable, it doesn't line up with their doctrine. If your doctrine leaves out scripture, then it's not true doctrine. You know, if it leaves out scripture, it's not true doctrine. But there's a lot that we have to learn in this life. And Joe South used to sing a song, Walk a Mile in My Shoes. And it's really hard to walk in somebody else's shoes, isn't it? Especially if my feet are 11 and their feet are size 8, I couldn't fit in their shoes anyway. If they tried to get in my shoes, they would stumble and fall because they'd be too large, right? <laughs> Just saying. It's hard to walk in somebody else's shoes. You know. God gives some people the gift of empathy. They are able to empathize with other people. Sometimes the experiences that we go through in our lives give us empathy for people who are going through the same thing. You know, I have a disabled son who has a brain degenerative disease, who has problems with his mind collecting his thoughts because of an overproduction of dopamine in his brain. So I can relate to parents 
of children who have children who are dis disability uh, at a different level than most people. I know the heartache and pain that a disabled parent goes through. You know, other people can make very hurtful remarks about people's children that pierces our soul sometimes. But you know, God's the one who gives us the grace to withstand all of these things. God also brings reconciliation in relationships. Sometimes we may be in a relationship that we think that will never be reconciled, but then God brings a healing in that relationship. It shows His magnificent grace. There's a great day coming, a great day coming, there's a great day coming by and by. When the saints and the sinners shall be parted right and left, are you ready for that day to come? There's a bright day coming, a bright day coming, there's a bright day coming by and by. But its brightness shall only come to them that love the Lord. Are you ready for that day to come? Well, sometimes I wonder if people believe there's a great day coming. Especially if they're stuck in 70 AD, you know. Paul talks about the hope for the believer. The great hope is the return of Christ. You know? And there are those out there that are proclaiming that Christ came back in 70 AD. Well, he said that he would come back in like manner as he left. And I believe that he said, when I go away, I will, I will send a comforter. And he has sent the Holy Spirit to the believer as a means of grace for us to cope with this life that we're going through, that we're, that we're in, as a means of comfort. Holy Spirit, faithful guide, ever near the Christian side, gently lead us by the hand, pilgrims in a desert land, weary souls forever rejoice, while they hear that sweetest voice, whispering softly, wander come, Follow me, I'll guide thee home. Ever present, truer friend, ever near thine aid to lend. Leave us not to doubt and fear, groping on in darkness drear. When the storms are raging sore, hearts grow faint and hopes give o'er. Whisper softly, wander, come, follow me, I'll guide thee home. When our days of toil shall cease, waiting still for sweet release, looking up to heaven in prayer, joyful that our names are there, fearing not the dismal flood, pleading not but Jesus' blood, Whisper softly, wander, come, follow me, I'll guide thee home. Well, you know, Jesus Christ 
was revealed to Paul in a very, very special way. Very special way, and the Apostle Paul said, I would know nothing other than Jesus and Him crucified. You know, his, his ministry was focused on proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And his mission was also to proclaim the resurrection. You know, he said, if we, if Christ had not risen from the dead, we would be yet in our sins. We're looking forward to that great day. Whether it's seeing Christ come back physically <laughs> and literally um, while we're alive or whether we see him after we die. Whatever the case may be, we have a hope eternal that resides within us. I hope this morning finds you in good stead and let us never remember that Christ has rose up from the dead. Low in the grave he lay, Jesus my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus my Lord. From the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Well, may the good Lord be with you today in a special way is my prayer. God bless.